You know, I think one of my favorite things about coming into a house that we just buy is kind of seeing what was left behind, you know? Kind of tells you a little bit about them. Sometimes you can find cool stuff. Sometimes it's just junk. Are you fired up to be here? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I just fired up that... That's what? I said, this is supposed to be spotless. I even put it in the text message. I think that's unsalvageable. He, he needs to pull that whole wall off from there to there. I would just tell him he needs to clean this whole damn basement. Cobwebs and all. Like, this right here needs to be cut out. This looks awful. So, this house was obviously burned. We bought it, we have come in here and removed all the drywall, everything that was charred. We had to replace a little bit of the wood, nowhere near as bad as we were expecting. But um, now we are, our roofs are done and we are ready to start hanging drywall, hopefully this week. The second we know that this inspection is gonna be okay, but he does need to clean this shit up and he needs to cut this out. It does look better though, doesn't it? I don't smell fire hardly at all, do y'all? I haven't since yeah, we pulled the sheetrock. So since last time we were here, we came in and we demoed all the sheetrock. We repaired any bad wood that we had. Our electricians came in here and checked all the wiring. They fixed a few things, right Noah? And then plumbers came in and replumbed what needed to be fixed. We came in here and put all new ductwork, new heating and air systems. We've ordered window sash kits. We've ordered a few new windows. We already have the sheetrock in place. So the second the inspector says, hey, we're good to go, we've got a drywall sub that's coming over here to start hanging the drywall. So we could have this thing drywalled and mud ready for paint and, and uh, trim and doors in probably two weeks. Yeah. So typically we try to get our door and trim guy to come in here about a week to two weeks before we are ready for that to so he can order it. Uh, where we order our doors is 84 Lumber and they have a door shop in their warehouse. So they actually build all the interior door kits. I feel like we probably need to pull these fans down too, Noah. When you think to hang drywall. When y'all leave here, I I'm gonna like do a walk around video for Jose because I can't get an inspection like this tomorrow. Well, I think we could get it done. Have it cleaned? Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta yeah, get him yeah. back over here. Okay. But I don't wanna have the inspector come and look at this right now. No, I, I think what y'all do is make a quick video and then meet us at the other house so you can show him on video so he can get his ass over here. Yes, sir. And he's gonna have to get his phone where he'll, he'll answer the phone. This house is nice. We got to be very careful here. We need to put like dumpsters way back. We can't have people park in the yard um, and things like that, right? There's a strict HOA here, first of all. So if we're cutting down bushes and shit and have Mexican music blaring and stuff <laughs> like that, uh, AKA Diablo. Yeah, Diablo's really good at uh, blasting music. Because that's really important. Hey, open this door, brother. Oh, it's open. Was it already open? Uh, I didn't open it. Okay. Okay. So, it's pretty nice, I know. It is nice. Yeah. This was a lady that has lived here for a long time, and she, I think she bought it new, and she moved to North Carolina to be with her kids. A lot of times in these houses, this is like a, a late 90s, I believe, house. And you know, it has this, decorative trim that I don't necessarily like. I think it's okay to keep that, but I need to figure it out, I guess. These handrails, could, I think the stairs are in good condition, but the handrails could be upgraded. What? No, not even close to code. So code's gotta be like right about here, because when you're up here, like any little kid could just kinda lean over the edge and fall off. But if you have it higher, it keeps it safe. Um, I think the standard is 32 inches up. But yeah, I think these could get replaced with our simple iron handrails. So a lot of the times, especially in older houses, they would have, they would like to do carpet over the hardwoods. And if you get lucky, you can get hardwoods under here. But an easy trick to do is just pull out any vent in anything 
give it a little lift on the, uh, on the carpet and you can see. But it looks like in this one, we've just got subfloor. So we didn't get lucky this round. So I think this house overall is outdated, but it's in great condition. Um, there's some things that will definitely have to be changed. This one's still nice, but it's just a little older, you know? A vessel tub is awesome. And this is my personal home though. I do like one of those like really badass like rock stone, but that's a little pricey for this. This should be a flip that we can get in and out of. Man, if this was my flip, I would definitely tear down both of these vanities, get them something nicer. I like that the toilet here is separate, you know? You don't want your toilet with your shower here, you know? We're really um, just updating it more than really giving it like a full out blowout where we take out all the walls, we redo complete everything because we've been doing a lot of those lately and this one looks to be great. You know, I think one of my favorite things about coming into a house that we just buy is kind of seeing what was left behind, you know? Kind of tells you a little bit about them. Sometimes you can find cool stuff, sometimes it's just junk. Okay, there was a house that we had where there was just a big stack of like Playboy magazines from the 80s and uh, that was something, you know? Some of them were stiff. <laughs> Jack and Jill bathrooms are great for when you have two bedrooms that are like adjacent to each other and then you just have a bathroom and they both share it. Um, I mean, I guess it's a good idea, but personally, I kind of find that you don't really have a lot of privacy, right? Especially if you have siblings, like, what's to stop one of them from coming in when you're using the restroom, you know? I think it's just, uh, it's an older way and I think having separate bathrooms is better. Hey Miguel, I think you just need to do a layout, whatever Hoover requires to do a permit. Yeah, I get that laid out here in about an hour and a half. Okay, thank you, buddy. 